Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are going to be checking out the Season 8 flight content. More specifically, the new options that they added to Halo 3 ODST's firefight. That being that you're able to actually modify the waves and new enemy types which is really cool so i'll go ahead and be showcasing that and kind of giving my thoughts on it on what i think about it and stuff like that so with that being said i do want to show you guys the settings here so if we go to firefight settings and then we go to wave properties voila you can see that it's just like reach where you can actually modify what, like what spawns in and stuff like that what kind of enemies you want and not only that but we actually get new enemy types included um, which I'm sure you all know by now is the flood and actually two other ones that I did not see coming which is enemy elites and sentinels as well as I guess you could say heretics which is just elites with human weapons but wow I mean that's a lot that's awesome man being able to fight the flood and not only that but we get to fight elites in like a halo 3 setting that's kind of wacky and cool at the same time because I've always wanted to fight elites in uh, Halo 3 but you know they were on your team now we can actually kind of get a sense of that here so as you can see if we look through here you can actually see that there's flood okay so here we got the heretic heretic snipers heretic heavy the flood should be somewhere here oh here we got sentinels flood and sentinels flood tanks here's all the flood stuff affected brutes and all that flood carriers are not working right now they don't seem to spawn in or anything I'm not exactly sure why but this is probably the biggest issue with the Halo 3 ODST firefight right now is that the flood carriers don't spawn at all. They kind of just stop the game from running. So unfortunately, we don't get to see we don't get to see any flood spores or anything like that, which really sucks. So yeah, let's go ahead and start showcasing this. So we're going to start with the flood combat forms. Let's show off all the flood stuff, see how they play out. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think needs to be worked on and what I like about it and stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the flood. So this will be kind of a showcase slash my thoughts kind of video on this stuff. Um, and I do also want to talk about why I haven't been uploading because it's been like probably a week or more since I haven't uploaded. Um, so let's go ahead and kill the flood here. Oh man, this is so awesome, dude. It's so weird too because like, you know, we're in ODST and stuff, um, but it's so awesome. But yeah, I also want to mention that the reason why I haven't been uploading for quite a while is because actually there was a lot of wildfires and so there was like a lot of wildfires where I'm at which is California and so unfortunately I had to leave for like a week or so and then I was able to return which really sucks because by the time that happened was around when season 8 dropped so that's why I didn't instantly like upload season 8 stuff um, so I'm pretty late to the party but you know nevertheless get to experience it um, and I gotta say it's pretty great especially the firefight um, as you can see we actually ran into an issue here because the flood tanks are stuck in the elevator <laughs> hold on let me kill this guy so we got some flood tanks there we got some combat forms pretty cool I'm out of ammo this guy's blocking my shots there we go Look at this, man. <clears throat> They're freaking stuck in the elevator. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. So they need to fix that. They need to, like, either make them not spawn there anymore or somehow just face through the door. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's not supposed to be happening. But nevertheless, it'll make it easier for me so I can just kill them. It's actually really funny because I don't think people realize this, but we also got a new wep a new weapon added to ODST. I mean, it's not really a new weapon, I guess, but well, technically to ODST it is because we've never seen it in ODST, but we actually got the blue plasma rifle added back in in uh, ODST because in Halo 3 ODST, the only plasma rifle you could use was the brute plasma rifle. And so now we have the blue one, which I think functions the same. I could be wrong, but I think it's about the same thing. So now that we've fought against the Flood, I figured now let's try out the Sentinels, see how they play, play around, and yeah, you know, there's Sentinels from Halo 3, um, unfortunately it doesn't have like 
you know, different sentinel types, because Halo 3 doesn't have any sentinel types. Because in Halo 2, we had the original one, and then we had the, uh, the golden sentinel, which was really cool. It's kind of unfortunate how Halo 3 removed the golden one, because I thought it was kind of cool seeing, like, a tougher sentinel and having it, like, shoot, like, a blue laser and, t and stuff like that. I, I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, here we got the sentinels. The sentinels are pretty deadly. Um, although it seems like we're taking them taking them down pretty easily right now, but when in groups, they kind of just laser you down. It's pretty crazy. If you get if you get caught by like a group of them, you just get lasered down quite quickly, as you can see. Oh, there we go. So perfect example of what I just said. If you get caught between like at least three of them, you know, a group of them, you're pretty much screwed because their laser does do quite a bit of damage. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to be fighting sentinels too. So not only do we get flood, but we get sentinels as well. I think they should add the sentinel to be usable. As you can see here, there's a sentinel beam, but I can't use it unfortunately. Um, hopefully we're able to. I hope they actually like add it into the game because I'd love to use a sentinel beam. Same goes with like energy swords. If you see an energy sword flood, um, they don't have you can't pick up those up like they have the energy sword flood but once you kill those the sword is not equipable you can't pick it up all right so now we're checking out the elites let's see how they play around uh, see how their AI is so, so you can see we got the elites here um, and the elites are actually pretty beefy in this game and man it does feel weird fighting against elites in Halo 3 ODST I don't know it feels really weird I, it just feels weird, man. It feels weird <laughs> just shooting elites in freaking ODST's firefight. But, um, yeah, the elites are kind of just like the brutes. Um, they don't really... I don't know. It's kind of hard. They're kind of, like, unpredictable. Um, they kind of just stay on their own. They don't really move with groups or anything. And that's why I think the AI on the elites, mostly on the elites... I think the Floods AI does need improvement. But... The elites kind of, I think, are the ones that need the the most tweaking on because the elites just act very strange. Like, as you can see here, so this is an elite patrol group, and so it's an elite with grunts. But as you can see here, he doesn't, like, doesn't, like, react with, like, his squad, you know. He just, like, kind of goes and does his own thing. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of just how it is. So they kind of feel like... They don't really have, it's hard to explain, but I don't know, it just feels very strange fighting against them. Because um, they, they tend to be like lone wolves kind of thing. They don't really like work together or anything like that. Anyways guys, that's all the new enemy types that are going to be added in Halo 3 ODST's firefight. Possibly in Season 8, unless they run into a lot of issues, um, they probably will delay it delay it to like season 9 or something i hope they have it fixed by then and we get it in season 8 because this is really what i'm looking forward to the most is the firefight options because man dude i've needed a refresher for firefight because firefight has been pretty stale um because it's, it's never gotten like really anything new so it's been rather stale so having this refreshing new variety of enemies is awesome and does leave me wanting to actually play firefight more Especially for those firefight challenges, man. I mean, those are such a drag to play through, for me at least. Because, you know, i played firefight countless times that it gets so boring. And so, yeah, this is really going to help with those firefight challenges. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it helps me out in the algorithm. And it lets me know you like Halo content. And, of course, if you want to see more Halo content... And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.